Hey guys, Serena from One Stop Abruzzo today from Lovely Pen. And uh, if you've been following the channel since uh, when I started in May, you probably know that Pen is one of my favorite towns. Uh, by the way, if you want to, uh, sorry, putting the sunglasses today, it's February, but it's pretty hot, 12 degrees. Um, if you want to download the, the book about my five fi favorite towns in Abruzzo, link in the description for more information. Uh, but uh, just a flash, <laughs> pen, around 10,000 people, uh, you have everything here without that, uh, you know, that uh, city-like colonization, don't get me wrong, I, I, I still need my huge malls and everything, but I like uh, the, local, the local feel of the towns in Abruzzo and Pen is one of the best, old city with, uh, with a huge history, uh, plenty to see. Feel free to Google it uh, if you don't trust me. Uh, flipping the camera now. Here we are, for example, just behind the cathedral. Like if you go over that jeep on the left, uh, you have the cathedral. And uh, yeah, Penn is full of those buildings and they are renovating like crazy uh, for example we have some cranes there uh, they're doing some works and uh, yes the house today this one in front uh, pretty cool I, di I did a tour of it uh, of course it, it's a townhouse so it doesn't have an external space however we have the balcony first of all and uh, the space outside uh, this is a uh, 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 property of the town, but I mean, uh, you can use it uh, like you can sit outside uh, and over it's, it's Italy, you can do it. Uh, if you like houses with character, old places uh, with potential, I'm sure you will love this. I know I liked it, so let's go inside so uh, upstairs is more modern uh, downstairs uh, you have this cool old old area with this uh, amazing tiles proper fireplace there uh, they put like a door on it <laughs> never seen this hmm is this safe not sure yeah probably remove it i would remove it uh look at this i don't even know how to call it but <laughs> i mean bricks <laughs> and uh, you have this nice color that uh, i've seen in uh, some of the old houses this was pretty popular back in the days and uh, yeah you have uh, this space here which is uh, currently a bedroom look at the ceiling uh, i don't know if i will leave this as a bedroom because i mean upstairs we have tons of bedrooms so i'm not sure why this would be needed but yeah half for you to the side and here Let's go downstairs. It feels like two different houses. This is what you call in Italian a fondaco. Back in the days, they were using it uh, to store meat. Uh, I don't know, wine, food products. Admittedly, not the easiest access. Those are a lot of newspapers. Not sure why they kept it. Super nice. This is super cool. If you are like me that you like weird stuff. Going upstairs now. Going upstairs.
So this is the best preserved uh, part of the house. Admittedly, not the same character as uh, downstairs, but nice nonetheless. It's an uh, old house, so it, it will have a weird layout. So, couch here, and uh, this is the balcony that you will see from, uh, from the outside. Where my car is. And uh, play a guess game. What will be behind this door? A bathroom. And it's honestly decent size. It's uh, maybe tiny, narrow a little bit, but uh, definitely usable. Uh, I would replace this micro bathtub with uh, a shower, but. Here we have a nice kitchen, probably around 2.7 meters length, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, the perfectly usable space, and uh, look at, talk about a characteristic view in the mountains with the old roofs, old roof tiles. Lovely. Uh, yeah, before going there, let's go first uh, in the one of the bedrooms. Huge bedroom. Huge bedroom. Uh, behind the door, there's just uh, like some sort of a small closet. So nothing too much to say. <coughs> and. Uh, yeah, here much of the same view we, we saw earlier. I was not expecting this house to be this large when I uh, when I entered. And uh, here we have the this brilliant living room with the old tiles. Yes, these tiles are amazing. And uh, I'm not sure why they are not on the whole house. Probably it was decided to remove those uh, when, uh, you know, across the renovations. I mean, in the 70s, 80s, uh, there was not so much uh, touch about these, uh, um, these elements. So they were just uh, doing renovations uh, without caring too much. And yeah bit of a shame uh, as you can see the difference between the old ones and the like new ones and uh, yeah here another bedroom and this bedroom has a great view you can actually see the sea yeah and not today um, but yeah probably just about it and guys if you're not familiar with the geography of uh, uh, of Abruzzo Penny is about 40 minutes drive from the sea so not too far and then we have uh, one last bedroom as you can see plenty of opportunities to rearrange the house or leave it as it is uh, it's honestly in good condition here on top uh, no complaints uh, I like the downstairs part with the cellar and uh, the old uh, the old kitchen so let me know guys what you think and uh, yeah, please like the video if you want to see more content and uh, see you next time.